East meets West. Athletic, athletic teams at Cranston's two high schools may soon have to unite into one, and the schools are arch rivals. Iowa News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live with details on why the merger has been proposed. Well, it's pretty unheard of here in Rhode Island that the two would actually join forces because, as you said, they've been rivals from day one. But that is potentially what could happen all, of course, to save money. Instead of being rivals, Cranston East and West High Schools will be competing as teammates come September if a plan is approved by the school's athletic directors. I don't like it. And while students may not like it, school superintendent Peter Nero tells Eyewitness News it all comes down to money. The district facing a projected million dollar deficit for the current year. There are the nice to haves, the things you'd like to have, but you can't have, you can only afford to do the must haves. I don't think it's fair to combine, if you're going to combine the two schools together, I don't think it's fair because it's not very good competition. Some of the sports to be combined, soccer, tennis, volleyball, softball with the exception of varsity, and track and field hockey. Sports to be eliminated altogether, girls hockey, freshman football, freshman basketball, and freshman baseball. Right now I've proposed to cut freshman sports. That does not mean that freshmen do not play sports. That means that we just won't be competing at the freshman level. They can still make junior varsity, they can still make varsity. And right now what I'm just trying to do is get a reasonable budget for the year 2010-2011. And back live here tonight, boys, basketball, football, and baseball and wrestling would all stay untouched. As for the other sports, I guess time will tell. Reporting live tonight with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom from Cranston, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.